How's it going everyone? If you don't know me, my name's Astra and today I'm going to be showing you how to make something like this. So this is a uh, really... So there's a lot of really wonky sounds going on in here. Uh, but the main one that I wanted to show you how to do today is this. So I have a little example project here. Uh, I just recreated the intro of CBD. And so this is what that sounds like. So yeah, for this video, I was just gonna walk you through everything um, and just show you what I have going on here. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna go through the easy stuff. So we have a kick and a little, um, I guess a rim shot. I'm not sure exactly what you would call that. Um, but on the first of every kick, I have uh, a bit of reverb. Um, zero decay, really small room size, up the spin and the spin depth, and keep the mix low, and you get a sound like this, instead of a sound like that. And I just have that on the first beat of all of these. Then I have these two little things layered over the snare. Um, I have that little dubstep snare to just kind of fade things in. Uh, and then I have this zapping sound. And then I have this chord. It, I took a guitar chord. Um, I pitched it down by one. I formant shifted it up. Did some compression limiting. Um, and then this is, this is really what's doing most of it. This and the formant shifting. Um, and this is just a serum filter. If you go into miscellaneous, there's a bunch of really cool stuff in here, but I settled on this one. Um, so this is before filters. And this is after. I have that going through a kickstart. Which is unregistered, by the way. And then I just have this little vocal thing. Um, I cut off the end of it, and then you just automate reverb right here. Um, this is going through a tiny bit of serum bit crushing, among other things. And then we have the main course, probably what everyone was here for, um, this funky little sound. So this was done with a program called Argo, Argot Lunar. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that, so forgive me. Um, but it's a completely free plugin. I'll have a link in the description for this. Um, and basically, you have all these little knobs here um, that you can change. You can even set a scale to it. You can even give it like a scale to follow. Um, but I didn't really need that for this because it was kind of just percussion. Uh, but essentially what it does is it's a granulator, um, which is usually made for really, really ambient things. Um, but this gives it a more um, blocky sound, I guess you could say. Clicky. Um, less peaceful, I suppose. This is how I bring that here. Um, this is the granulation method you can do often. Um, I said, 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 this is a really important part as well, um, is this uh, glissando and then the low pass. Um, you can do some really funky things with modulation with this as well. So I can set the delay amount to control the glissando amount and things like that. Um, but for this, I just really needed to set up a super basic um, little setup here. So I will leave the preset for this in the description as well, probably a Mediafire link or something. Um, and all you're going to do to import that is just go to Options and then Load XML Program and then just load in the file in the description. Uh, after that, I just took this low pass. I set it to Steep 8 by right-clicking and going to Type. And then I just have this moving up and down. Uh, in terms of 
be smart. This is what the one that I actually used for the CBD remake sounds like. So it's like very weird. Um, and then that becomes this. So yeah, there's a bunch of stuff going on there. Uh, but I hope this made it at least kind of easy to understand. Um, but yeah, so the plugin link is in the description. My preset is in the description. But please feel free, mess around with all of the knobs in there because they're all equally awesome and will get you some really cool effects if you really dig into it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it taught you something or um, that you can use this plugin to make some really cool music. Uh, but until next time.